Good Saturday evening, meteorologist Gracie Dencos here with your local forecast update and let's go ahead and look at this satellite and radar loop. Over the last couple of hours, we do see some light showers over here in our region and also in our twin state of Mississippi, but just west of that, we do see some strong storms in Arkansas and we saw some earlier this evening develop and produce severe tornadoes and some very damaging tornadoes with some damaging wind gusts and really left a lot of debris behind there. A total of 10 tornadoes across from Jonesboro, Arkansas all the way up until up into Kentucky as well and that's the same system that will be tracking southeast towards our region but for Tuscaloosa here if we're looking out over Bryant Denny we see a temperature of 72 right now and we have not cooled off much at all from our high of 75 and those winds are increasing progressively this evening and will continue to gain strength we look at our temperatures across the region we do see most of us are in the low 70s and these temperatures in our northern counties have even gotten warmer throughout the evening and that warm air is really starting to settle in and become more unstable as we get closer to when this unstable air and this weather pattern is making it to our region. If we look at our temperatures across the region across the US though we do see this very defined line right here and that is our cold front and that is produced by the low pressure system that's continuing to develop and gain strength though and we see this tremendous temperature gradient across the U.S. and that's going to continue to push southeast to our region and bringing us cooler temperatures behind this front. If we look here we do see this developing and like I mentioned really gaining some strength over the last couple of hours. We're already seeing that squall line start to develop and that's going to really push into our region and the Mississippi Delta area area and the Arkansas region as well as the Ohio River Valley all the way up there already seeing some very severe weather and tornadoes um, across the region but for tomorrow this is what we're looking out for our severe outlook and we're only going to be looking at a marginal risk for severe weather in our northwestern counties and some of our central central counties but that we can't rule out um, some strong winds and heavy rain in our southernmost counties as well but for our northernmost counties Marion and Lamar County they are seeing a slight risk but those enhanced risks are off to our twin state in Mississippi and going to remain there leaving it more of a risk for them for tomorrow we're looking at this timeline being from 5 a.m. to 1 p.m. and this means we could see a possible brief tornado spin up from these cells that are gaining some strength maybe some strong gusty winds at times we could see up to 30 miles per hour wind gust hail is very unlikely but we could see some hail which can't rule it out completely but some rain amounts of up to one and a half inch and three to three and a half inches in low-lying areas so we can keep an eye on that as well with that rain accumulation here if we track it out a closer look tonight we're going to see some showers and clouds really build in throughout the evening and these aren't going to be severe when we are asleep but as we head into the morning hours around 6 30 we're going to see our northwestern counties start to see these strong storms and we could see some damaging winds, maybe a brief tornado. Keep your weather alerts on and stay weather aware tomorrow morning and through the afternoon. We see that band of storms stretch across the region around 11 and 12. Some of our central counties will be seeing this storms and then it'll pass through very quickly and we'll just see some lingering showers by Saturday evening and for Sunday, we're gonna see those cooler temperatures and clouds move out completely. For tonight though, no severe risk for us, just some cloudy skies and chance showers are possible with those winds really gaining some strength as well. And for tomorrow, this is our weather maker coming in around 6 a.m. And we're going to be looking at a temperature of 70 and this is actually our high temperature and we're going to cool off throughout the day. Seeing upper 50s maybe even mid 50s later in the day and as that sun does come back out after lunchtime we're going to still see some clouds and rain but that severe weather is going to be gone by late afternoon for the extended forecast though tomorrow is not looking promising as far as weather and if you can definitely stay inside tomorrow for most of the day and then for Sunday, we're going to see nice conditions with temperatures in the upper 50s and overnight lows in the upper 30s as well, but sunny conditions will persist throughout the rest of the work week and upper 60s and 70s by midweek.